What's up guys, it's Dave. And today is the follow-up video for the should you buy a Steam Deck, is it worth it? If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you do not find it helpful, please write in the comments your critique and let's hop in. So just a few things, the Steam Deck is a streamlined, portable, in my opinion, overpriced uh, luxury way to play uh, most PC games, I would say a whopping 70% of PC games. And then if you get into the mods, you get into the weeds, you start um, going behind the scenes, so to speak, and going to certain websites and doing certain um, things. You can ins also install mods for those games. You can install uh, emulation software and things like that. And then you can really get maximize the value of of these you could push your steam deck to the limits when you're on the go but is that a good value is the steam deck good value well let's dive in the end of the day i can't determine for you what is a good value based on what your budget is but looking at these prices here i would say it's a no yes you can get the the lowest qual form here and pop in a micro SD, but why would you pass up a uh, solid state drive capability to use to play games off a of micro SD? You're going to be losing speed, especially if you have some data on the main drive and then some additional data on the micro SD that are communicating back and forth. You're going to lose a lot of performance and, you know, 64 gigs for Steam games is nothing. That's like 1.2 games. It's really terrible. You pretty much have to start at this price point to even begin to experience the value of the Steam Deck, and then you can extend it with a micro SD from there. But now if you get to the middle tier or even the higher tier, see, now you're already at a PlayStation. Now you're already at uh, two thirds of a, a entry level gaming PC. Now you're at two thirds of a entry level laptop PC, or maybe you're at one half of a, a laptop gaming PC, which you can get so much value out of those products because they just do more or they give you a better performance or they give you higher visual, higher quality visuals, 4K, things like that. You know, the desktop and the, the or the PlayStation or the Xbox One is going to give you a lot more value heck even a nintendo switch you can play more local offline games if you have friends over which would which is in a value in itself you know that's that's something where you can experience and what people are like well people buy the steam deck because it's portable gaming dave well in the actuality portable gaming never happens like people are not whooping out switches and steam decks out and about on buses and stations and then linking up hey my oh my god man you got one too oh my god yeah i mean it's not really happening in the same way you wouldn't really watch movies on your smartphone even though your smartphone is capable of doing that like there isn't all these gamers going out in public and you going to a park and like setting up their steam deck and just playing it and drinking a coffee or something in the park gamers don't really do that crap gamers stay indoors uh and really take advantage of playing games on their setups uh i would say at least 90 percent of the time uh with the maybe a mild exception you may go on a plane full a huge plane and maybe one person is playing a nintendo switch or something like it's it's really just not really something people do and it's like also it's kind of a it's just impractical like yeah i can watch a video on my phone i can watch a movie on my phone but I, but in between commutes you'd be pausing and starting and stopping the movie and doing all sorts of crap it would just be really ridiculous also it would like zap the battery out of my phone which would be impractical if i need it the whole day and i don't want to charge it so for that reason it's like it's very impractical and, and, and most people who buy steam deck it'd probably just be collecting dust because you'd be mostly be using it at home where you could use a desktop or laptop or a console anyways so it's it's really just a luxury kind of a cool little knickknack to buy but it's not really an essential product to even if you are a gamer and you and I, you know, imagine how heavily addicted you even have to be to like like what steam game is fun or, or practical or useful enough to where you would be playing it on a go you'd have to like say oh i'm gonna stay in this hotel for a couple of days i really need to bring my steam deck it's so important that i have that it would make more sense to bring a laptop which is why you should invest in one of those instead a lot of people are actually even bring, buying the Steam Deck for third-party support and hacking it and things like that. Which brings me to my next point of why it's it's really not a good value is because now you're going to be 
installing, say, emulators, and an emulator is a software-based version of an old-school console or maybe something more recent, such as like a Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Wii, um, consoles like that, 3DS. Like, people are putting those types of things on Steam Deck if it's compatible, which, you know, if you're going to go that route, uh, hello, you can actually get an Android phone. Uh, you can get that. Uh, you can get a pretty powerful Android phone. It doesn't have to be the the top of the line flagship phone, but you can get something along the lines of maybe an S Galaxy S twenty one or S twenty two plus, which will probably run you uh, maybe uh, let's see, so it's starting at five nineteen for the six inch, and then you could get the six point six inch, which is not even uh, that much smaller of a screen than a Steam Deck, and then you can enjoy playing, you know, old school emulated games on that. You wouldn't have to really do anything other than just download the software off of the App Store and then c supply your own games and then put that into the Android and then just run the game off of your phone. And then you would also have something way more useful than a Steam Deck, which is a cell phone. And then, of course, on top of that, you could even Android has first party games as well. Um, all, a lot of the multiplayer games, if you're really hardcore, you really must be gaming on the go. It's way more practical to use your cell phone to do that than to whip out this big giant block. Keep in mind, the Steam Deck is much bigger than the Switch and and looking like a total uh, dork in in the vicinity on your little Steam Deck, you know, it's, it's it's just impractical for you and it's just not a good look. Yeah, people are on to me. Some people are saying, hey, Linus attacked the Steam Deck and um, you now you're just kind of following in his footsteps and, and doing the same thing. Well, I think Linus is just trying to protect people from buying something that's a bad value. And, and I agree with that. Uh, this, the Steam Deck is really just, you know, it's just for lols. It's not really for anything useful. You could even get something like this. Uh, it was a nice alternative. You have a 30 an RTX 3060 laptop running a, an 11th gen i7 processor. Uh, and, you know, keep in mind, it's probably double the price of your, your Steam Deck here. Uh, it's on sale. This is an incredible deal. It's one terabyte SSD. That's going to be double the memory of it. DDR4 16 gigs. This is going to run all your games in 1080p, no problems. Even some games, maybe even higher than that. You're going to get nice frames. Uh, it's a very powerful processor. And it's a nice little sleek design. If you must have to play your, your you have to go do some portable gaming, at least you can enjoy yourself. You can bring an HDMI cord and, and connect it to the hotel TV uh, and use an Xbox controller. You, 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 and you could go actually get work done and, and, you know, do more, you know, I wouldn't just spend, take a shortcut and save money. I would, I really just take advantage of something like this or much cheaper. You can actually build your own desktop or build a laptop or excuse me, build a, or buy a console. Yeah, the Steam Deck is just not a good value. It's I wouldn't buy it at all, and I don't recommend any of my watchers buy this, even those who are criticizing me. You know, your cell, cell phone can run a lot of games on the go. Uh, you can buy a gaming laptop and use that for work and gaming if you're so inclined to game on the go, which I think is ultimately stupid because it's just impractical, and you could be enjoying yourself with the larger infotainment display at your house. But if you must game on the go next to the, the homeless guy on the subway, you know, uh, you, your cell phone is the best bet, guys.